win ministries. Seeking God to impact nations. Leo today tunaenda kuongea kuhusu kutembelewa na malaika today kuhudumiwa na malaika na nguvu iliyomo kwa mtu kutembelewa na malaika today we are going to talk about angelic visitation to be ministered by angels and the power behind the visitation of angels as they minister unto us malaika ni viumbe ambavyo vinaishi huko mbinguni angels are beings that live in heaven lakini pia kumhudumia Mungu lakini pia kumhudumia mwanadamu aliye ndani ya Mungu they minister unto god but also they minister unto humans who are in god hebu ambia mwenzako unajua malaika wameumbwa kukuhudumia tell your neighbor do you know that the angels have been created to minister unto you unaijua hiyo do you know that unaweza usiwaone you may not be able to see them lakini wanakuwa mara nyingi wako but most of the times they exist they're there ukiwa na neema unaweza kuwaona if you have that grace you may be able to see them lakini pia hawaendi mahali kote but they don't go everywhere malaika hawaendi mahali kote angels don't go everywhere kuna vivutio there are things that would attract them kuna vivutio ambao vinavuta malaika there are some attractions that would attract the angels either kukuhudumia uh, to come to minister to you either kukupa information or to come and give you information sawa eh right ni wangapi wanajua mapepo pia ni malaika walioanguka how many knows that demons are fallen angels kuna vivutio pia vya mapepo there are also attractions that would attract demons yani vivutio vya mapepo kuja kwako kutamani sana kuja kwako which means the angels would see things that would attract them to come to you Kwa hiyo, i mean the demons sorry. leo utaamua kwamba ni kitu gani unataka kiwe attracted so kwako today you will decide what exactly would you wish to be attracted towards you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mahali ambapo kuna kusifu na kuabudu katika roho. Where there is praising and worshiping God in the spirit. Malaika wanavutiwa. The angels are attracted to come. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Katika kweli na roho. In spirit and in truth. Maana mbinguni ni activity endelevu. Because in heaven that is a continuous activity. Kwa inawapa uraisi. So it give, it simplifies inawapa uraisi it makes it easy for them to come mahali kama hapo to get to such a place mahali ambapo kuna utakatifu a place where there is holiness inawapa uraisi it makes it easy for them utakapoanza kupanga maisha yako na kuishi maisha na mpendeza Mungu as you start to arrange your life and to live the life that pleases God panakuwa na uraisi wa malaika kukutembelea na kukuhudumia it becomes so easy for angels to visit you and to minister to lakini you. kitu cha kushangaza but something amazing ambacho tunaenda kiongea siku ya leo which we are going to share today mahali kuna utoaji where there is giving na sio utoaji wa kawaida not, not a normal giving mahali kuna kule utoaji wa kujinyima where there is sacrificial giving malaika wanashuka upesi the angels would come so fast amina Amen. Eh, hey, hautasema amina labda sasa hivi. Twende kwenye maandiko. Maybe, maybe now you won't be able to say amen, but let's go to the scripture. Unaweza kujiuliza ni by coincidence lakini sio coincidence. You may ask yourself maybe this is just a coincidence but no, it is not. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Matendo ya mitume 9 mstari wa 38. Tutaenda haraka haraka maandiko ni mengi. Let us go to the book of Acts 9:38. We are going to go a bit fast because we have quite a number of scriptures. Em pastor tatusomea matendo 9:38. For as much as leader was nigh to Joppa and the disciples had heard that Peter was there they sent unto him two men desiring that he would not delay to come to them Then Peter arose and went with them when he was come and brought him into the upper chamber and all windows stood by him weeping shewing coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them Endelea mpaka pale ambapo tutasema habari za But, but Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turning him to the body said Tabitha arise and she opened her eyes and when she saw Peter she sat up and he gave her his hands and lifted her up 
And when he had called the saints and the widows presented her alive. And it was known throughout Joppa that many believed in the Lord. And it came to pass that tarried many days in Joppa with one Simon the Turner. Tenda kwenye kumi sasa. Kumi. Acts chapter Nitaka 10. Nitaka ni udulie pale ni seme right, isi kutuwaji right. inaleta uzimu. Acts uzima. chapter 10 sasa. Tumemaliza tunaingia matendo ya mitume kumi. Mstari tuanze mstari wa kwanza. There was a certain man in, in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. A devout man, a one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to people and prayed to God always. He was, he saw a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming unto him, saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked upon him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine alms are come up for a memorial before God. And now... Kwani, kwani nini na tisa? Why did I start with chapter 9? Kuanza na nguvu ya utoaji. I started with the power of giving. Katika hiyo, inaonesha wanadamu walitumika. In chapter 9, it shows that humans Kwenda kumuleta Peter. were used to go and bring Peter. Ili atamke na anene uzima so that he may kufa. speak life on the dead. But the point there was on how Peter gave himself to this one. And Lydia was restored Lakini back to her life. Kumi, but now in Acts chapter 10, there was a man called Cornelius. This man was not born again, but he was a devout man alikuwa by law. Ni he was a heathen. Lakini alikuwa na sifa mbili nzuri. But he had good, two good credits. Ya kwanza ni maombi. Number one prayer. Ya pili ilikuwa ni utoaji. And number two giving. Biblia inasema alikuwa na toa sana. The Bible says that he was giving much out. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo. And because of that. Siku moja alikuwa kwenye maombi. One day he was in prayer. Saa 9 mchana. It was about uh, 3 p.m. Hii haikuwa ndoto. This was not a dream. Yaani kuna wakati malaika watakuhudumia katika ndoto. You know there are times the angels would minister unto you Lakini while you're dreaming. Lakini kuna wakati watakutokea live. But there are times they would appear to you physically. Malaika kamtokea live. And an angel appeared unto him physically. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Praise the Lord. Do you wish to be visited by angels? Now please listen to me attentively. An angel gave him a message of a person whose word so that he may be go and uh, so that he may be fished and that was Apostle Peter. That is women were called to go and call Apostle Peter but now in this event is an angel who came down to say go again and call Peter so that he may come and teach the word of God so that this one who was a, a prayerful person without knowing who he was to, and this guy who would give whenever the opportunity to give would, would give God saw that it is worth for this guy to be born again so his prayer and his giving became the source of his salvation and to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord Jesus. Therefore today we are winding up our topic with giving. The giving that brings down the angels to minister unto you. And God sent an angel. Cornelius, and he said, Cornelius, yako, thy prayers na wako, and thy giving ya huko have become a memorial before God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mwana Praise the Lord. Kuna nguzo kwa ajili yako. The, do you have a memorial for Kuna you in heaven? Cha do you have a book of memory in heaven? Do they have uh, uh, written uh, memories in heaven? These were human beings like you and I. And we know later what happened. Indeed, he got born again. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, well, at first, Apostle Peter was amazed. I said, oh, so the heathen can also be born again filled with the Holy Spirit. 
baptize. Why can't we baptize them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've heard a testimony of this lady who was baptized. She was in another world. But God saved her. And God brought her into the kingdom. And he separated her from the other side. And that's why now she can sleep peacefully. Why was it indeed that she was not sleeping peacefully? Because of the activities that were going on in her. But they were destroyed because of the works that she was doing. There is nothing that does not have outcomes. Everything thing here on earth and behind everything there is a spirit that is behind it. It could be the spirit of God or it could be the spirit of the devil. Now, as we become givers, God does something. The angels have been hastened. They are being hastened. And they are fast tracking the promise of God to be fulfilled in your life. So, and then we enter into Genesis 18. We will see on how God fast tracked his promise. His promise upon Abraham, our father. Because these are our patriarchs. These are our patriarchs, our fathers, who have examples that will make them to become our fathers. And he is our faith, the father of faith. His example was faith. Praise the Lord Jesus. Genesis 18, verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat on the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eye and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground. And said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away. I pray thee from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fished and, was, and wash thy feet and rest yourselves under a tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your hearts. And after that ye shall pass on. For therefore are ye come to your servants. And they said, So do as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knit it, and make cakes upon the earth. And Abraham ran into the herd and fetched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door which was behind him. So let's go to the book of uh, Hebrews. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 13. Yes. Uh, Hebrews, one, chapter, two, Hebrews chapter 13. Verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels. Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity, as being yourselves also in the body. The Bible says that do not forget. Be not forgetful. That's why we remind you that you become good people, that you become kind, mostly to those whom you do not know. Because by so doing, some have entertained angels unknowingly. Let me tell you the mysteries of angels. All angels are not the same. They are angels with wings. 
mabao hawana mabao but the angels which do not have yani ukimuona huyo malaika that if you see this angel kama mwanadamu is just like a human ana utofauti wa mwanadamu na malaika they just look like men biblia inasema the bible says mungu alimtembelea ibrahim god visited ibrahim sasa ukiangalia mungu alivyomtembelea ibrahim when you look on how god visited ibrahim haumuoni You cannot see him. Haumuoni. You don't see Kitu him. Kitu kiona. What you see? Biblia inasema. The Bible says. Natazama palikuwa na watu wangapi? And behold there were How many walikuwa people? Walikuwa watu wangapi? How many people? Watu watatu. Three men. Au nimesoma vibaya. You're right. Watu watatu. There were three men. Ina maana it means walikuwa ni malaika. These were angels. Lakini ungeweza kaona kaona ah hata siwajui. But you could have said that no I even don't know. Ukawaacha wakapita. You can just let them go. Lakini kwa sababu Ibrahim alikuwa mkarimu. But because Ibrahim was generous. Alivona hao watu watatu. When he saw these three men. Asio wajua. Which he did not know. Bila sema kakimbia. Bible said that he quickly ran. Pamoja na uzee wake. With his old age. Akasema. And he said. Ninawasii. Please. Ninawaomba. I be Msinipite. Naomba msinipite. Njooni kwangu. Njooni kwangu. Basi niwapatie maji ya kunywa. Niwaoshe na miguu. Maana hiyo inchi ni inchi ya vumbi. Basi wakasema sisi tulikuwa tunapita tu. Akawabembeleza. Sasa unaona mtu anakuja kwako. Unamwambia nikupe nini? Unamwambia usijisumbue niko sasa. Said, please don't trouble yourself I'm okay. Ha, unasema, okay it's okay. Say, okay. It's okay. Sio sawa. Ubembeleze. Try to Usikubali. be sure. Don't let Mtu him go. Kwako. Don't allow Bila kunywa kitu. Somebody to leave your Bila kula. home without eating. Hata kama basi hataki kunywa soda, mupe hata maji. Even if they don't take sodas, give Usi them water. Ah. Unasema don't ame, say ah, I'm okay. Ame, ame kata. Ah, ame, the guy said no. Ameniokoa. Ah, like, that's better. I, I, have, I, have, I have saved my budget. Mbembeleze. Beseech him. Mwambie please. Tell him tafadhali. Kwani unataka kubeba baraka zangu? Why do you want to take away Unless my blessings? Unless mtu anafunga. Unless the person kama is fasting. Amefunga. If he is fasting. Lakini kama hakufunga. But he is not fasting. Na baada ya mtu aliyefunga aliyefunga utamjua. And if somebody is fasting you will know him. Kama unataka kujua mtu anayefunga. If you know you want to know the person who is fasting. Harufu nayo toka mdomoni mwa kinywa chake. Even the smell from his mouth or her mouth. Inakuwa tofauti na mtu aliyekula. Usually is different from the person who is fasting. Kama mtu alifunga siku mbili siku tatu. If somebody fasted two three days. Ana harufu fulani ambayo. There is a certain smell. Hauwezi kuisikia kwa mtu mwingine ambaye hajafunga. Get it from somebody else who is not fasting. Kwa hiyo ukisikia mtu ana sema niko safi. So if you hear somebody say I'm okay. Ki akili akili. You just strictly go close to the tu, person. Hata maji tu. How about a drink? Sasa unasikia ile ah umefunga it's And okay. Ah, you're fasting it's okay. Lakini Fine. kama hajafunga. But the person if he's not fasting. Umembeleze mpaka itike. Please sit him until he agrees. Na hiyo ndio Ibrahim alifanya. And that's what Ibrahim did. Akasema najua mmechoka. I said I know you're tired. Najua mmechoka. I know you guys are tired. Unataka kwa tutumepumzika tu. Ah ah sisi tunapita tu. Akasema naomba naomba naomba. Please I beseech you. Kupokea watu nao wafahamu ni vizuri. Yes, to receive people na you know is good. vizuri na kuenjoy na kuchili na kula mnaongea ni vizuri sana. Lakini fanya kwa watu sio wajua. But due to those whom you don't know. Leo Hebrania 13 inasema. Wengine others. Walipokea malaika bila kujua. Na Ibrahimu alikuwa miongoni mwa wale walipokea malaika bila kujua. Tuko pamoja. Are we together? Basi wakasema ni sawa. And they say it's okay. Wakaja wakakaa. They came and sat. Ibrahim ukimbia na uzee wake. And Ibrahim with all his to run. Sara please. Tengeneza keki, tengeneza mikate. Prepare a kid, prepare some bowls. Kwa Tanzania ungesema kandika ma nani? Chapati haraka haraka. Oh, they say make some chapatis quickly. Haraka haraka. Quickly. Tumia ile unga mzuri. Use that good flour. Fine flour. Wanao fanya publicity wana kuna unga ambayo inakuwa ni mzuri na nyingine ni mzuri sana. You know those who do publicity they know the quality of flour. Tumia ile nzuri sana. Use the highest Akaenda quality. Akaenda kaambia mfanyakazi kimbia. And he told the helper. Kwenye mifugo. Go to the Chagua ile flock. nzuri sana. Choose the nice kid. Ambayo iko tender which is tender Leta, raka, raka. and prepare it dress Aka, it tayari and then they dress it mechinjwa. and everything was prepared tayari. drinks and bread in a few minutes meza imeandaliwa the table was set oh wacha nikwambi let me tell you utoaji giving ni karama it's a gift ambayo itafanya mbingu ikutembelee mara kwa mara that will cause heavens to be frequently visiting you sasa 
Now, wakaanza kula. They started eating. Wanaongea. They were talking. Kumbe malaika wanakula bwana. So the angels can eat. Kumbe malaika wanakunywa bwana. Angels can drink. Haleluya. Haleluya. Walivyokula. When they were full. Wameshiba. They were full. Ah, oh, Biblia inasema. The Bible says. Hata ukialika mteule kwako. Even if you pigie chakula. Ukimaliza kula. Once you're Umeshiba. done eating, you're full. Tabiri. Now prophesy. Uliza. Amna mgonjwa ndani ya hii nyumba. Is there a sick person in this house? Wewe kuna siri kubwa. There is a great mystery kuna here. Siri kubwa katika there is utoaji. a great mystery in giving. Walivyokula na kushiba. After they had eaten and they Yambo were full. First thing. Waliharakisha promise ya Mungu. They hastened the Iliyo promise of God. Ilio They fast tracked the promise of God that was delayed for 25 years. God promised Ibrahim a child, a son. But the angels spoke. And they say, next year, around this time, Sarah will get a baby. The time such as this, Ungekuwa Sara ni ndugu yako ungepiga ale makofi zaidi. You know if you are related to Sara you would have really clapped your hands. <laughs> Miaka 25 years. Hiyo ilikuwa ni muujiza mkubwa ambao unahitaji makofi ya kutosha. Miracle that needs a great applause. Akamwambia kwa muda kama huu mwakani. told him time such as this next Sarah year. Atakuwa na mtoto. Sarah will have a child. Sitaingia huko sana maana Sara alicheka. I'm not going to go to deep because Sarah laughed. I said, ah, in this old age, how am I going to conceive? An angel heard. He said, why is Sarah laughing? Because the angels were really frightening and Sarah was afraid. And the angel said, you laughed. Because Sarah was busy cooking and to give out herself, she was forgiven. Because of that, Kuamini and without believing. Munasipata hizo. Are you getting this? Hayo madini munayapata. Do you get this? Munayasikia kama historia. Do you hear them as history? Ama munanuku kwamba hii nitaiacha kwenye tabia yangu. Or do you pick them as things that will help you to correct yourself? Akasamehewa maana alishughulika kweli na kupiga na kuanda hiyo chakula. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa ya muhimu sana ni machoni pa malaika. Na badala hiyo doubt instead of doubting. Praise the Lord. In Genesis 21, the Bible says that and they got a child as the way the angels walk. The angels would fast track the delayed promises. They would prophesy to you. Malaika, and then the presence of angels, they would give you information which you would not have known. Chapter, if you continue with the chapter, you would have seen that now they are done with everything. And Ibrahim would have said, now nah, after all I'm old, I'm tired. But, but he had a good heart. 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 Conduct. When visitors come to you, don't just let them go like that. Take them out. Escort them out. Escort them out. If it is in the car, let them get into the car. Once they turn the car, then wave to them. Those are good conduct. Those are good conduct. Take them out. Take them out. As they go, there are still some extra blessings. Because in escorting them, because they are happy, they have seen that honor. Then they started to talk. And they said, what is it that is here that you will do without informing a friend of God? Ibrahim, those kwa sababu ame wasindikiza na ile furaha walioipata ambea mwenzako malaika wanaweza wakafurai ama wakakasirika basi wakavunja siri bwana wakasema kwani tutafanyeje bila kumwambia Ibrahim rafiki wa Mungu sisi tulikuwa tumetumwa listen Ibrahim we were sent Go destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. 
That was the mission that Lakini ukarimu kwa deviate. But because of generosity, kwa Ibrahim, they were diverted. Mtoto, they alafu Ibrahim, they prophesied, they continued with wakaendelea. their journey. They continued on their journey. Shuka. And they say when we came, na mission, we came with a mission ya kwenda kwa ribu to go na to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Malaika. Angels. Wanapenda sana. They love. Mtu ambaye ni mwombaji. A person who is Mtu a prayerful person. Intercessor. A person who is an intercessor. Ibrahim wakaanza kuintasid. And Ibrahim started to intercede. Kwa ndugu yake Lut. For his brother Lot. Malaika wanapenda. Angels will love. Watu ambao hawaweki kisasi. People who do not put grudges Ata in them. Hata wakefanyiwa mabaya. Even when they are Wanasahau ukiwa hivyo utatembelewa na malaika mara kwa mara akaanza kuintasid labda ingekuwa ni watu wa leo asema aende kule alichagua Sodoma alichagua Gomora tabia za ajabu zimemwingia afie uko huko say let lot die there because he decided to go to Sodom and he decided to live in that rough place alianza kuintasid but he started to intercede kwa sababu alintasid and because he interceded malaika wakaenda na na ile information ya kumu, ya kumuokoa Lutu na familia yake. Wow. And the angels carried that information of going there to Sodom and Gomorrah to save Lot and his family. Waka badilisha direction. And they changed direction. Ya kuingia ndani ya mji huo. To enter into that city. Kwa sababu malaika wanajua. Because the angels know. Mungu anapowatuma. As the way God sends them. Wanajua na nyumba yako. They know your house. Hivi malaika alivomtembelea Gabriel nani Gabriel alivomtembelea Maria. When Gabriel visited Mary. Salimkuta kwake. Kwani apakuwa nyumba nyingi pale? When they many Lakini malaika there, wanajua mpaka na address yako. The angels know your house number. Na walimtembelea Maria. And they visited Mary. Kwa sababu alikuwa righteous. Because Mary was righteous. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Kwa hiyo kwa sababu ya hiyo intercession. Now because of that maombi. Kwenye nyumba zote. All those houses. Wakaenda sasa kwa Lot. Now they went to Lot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na utaiona katika mwanzo sasa 19. And you can see that in Genesis 19. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wakaenda kwa Lot. They went and visited Lot. Tusomee pastor. 19 kuanzia mstari ule wa kwanza na 22. Genesis 19. I'm going to read and iko ndefu lakini tutatakatiza mahali. And there came two angels to Sodom at even and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom and Lot seeing them rose up to meet them and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground and he said behold now my lords turn in I pray you into your servant's house and tarry all night and wash your feet and ye shall rise up early and go on your ways and they said nay but we will abide in the streets all night <laughs> and he pressed upon them greatly and they turned unto him and entered into his house and he Sikiliza. made them a feast mm. and did uh, bake and leaven bread and they did eat listen to this the same thing repeated the same character of Ibrahim now is being seen in Lot wakaenda and they went Akakindia, there, and he hastened, akawalaki, and then he received akawambia, them, and then he told naomba them, musipite, I beseech you, don't pass naomba by. Musipite, musipite. He received a request from them not to go by. Just, just come in, I want to wash your feet. Chakunywa. Give you something Mana to eat. Because I see your time. And then you spend the night here. Here. Tomorrow you go. Wakasema, apana. And they say, nay. Apana. Nay. Wali basuba, mesema, nay. Yeah. They said no no no. <laughs> they said no no. They was like they But what did Lot do? The Bible says that and he pressed on Nina them greatly. He pressed on them greatly. Until they say okay. We will do as you say. Na wakaingia. And they entered in. And they sat. Na akawaosha miguu akatengeneza chakula akawapa and they na vinywaji and drinks baadaye walifanya nini and later on what did they do wakasema bwana hii and they say you know Sisi. what we tumekuja kuharibu mji have been sent to destroy the city tumekuja kuharibu mji we've been sent to destroy the city maana because uovu wa nchi evil of this land umefika kwenye kiti cha Mungu to the throne of God those who are on the overnight wale wafundisha utofauti katikati ya sin 
transgression na iniquity. We taught them about the difference between sin, transgression and iniquity. Sin ama dhambi. Dhambi. Ni makosa mbele za Mungu. This is when you do wrong before God. Mengine unayajua mengine hata haujui. Others you know, others you don't. Hata kama hujui haimaanishe kwamba haitahesabika kwa Even if you don't know, it doesn't mean that it will not be counted Lakini as sin. Lakini transgression. But a word transgression. Ni dhambi unayoijua na bado unaifanya. It is a sin that you know but yet yani you do it. Yaani That is unaacha kutii. Una disobey authority. Unaacha kutii mamlaka. Una disobey Mungu ukiwa kabisa na uhakika kwa kujua kwamba ni mbaya. Unafanya kwa makusudi mazima while you are aware Lakini of that. Lakini iniquity but iniquity ni zile zambi endelevu. These are uh, the, the sins that have been ongoing. Ni ule uovu. Ni ule uovu. Ni uovu. Na ni hivyo vitu vinaitwa wickedness. Yaani ni ule uovu wa kupitiliza. Eh, huu ni uovu ule wa hali ya juu ambao unakuwa ukifanyika toka wakati yani na unaendelea. Na kizazi kwa kizazi watu wako katika uovu. And it goes on in generations to generations Yo people in the same level. Of our fathers, That's our why it says uovu wa baba zetu na babu zetu. Na malaana yake nayo inaenda mtiririko kizazi hadi kizazi. And with their curses they go in the bloodline for generations. Na katika Sodoma na Gomora Now ilikuwa kabisa ni iniquities. Sodom and Gomorrah these were iniquities. Ndio maana malaika amekuja kuharibu. That's why the angel has come to destroy. Lakini akawaambia. But he told them. Kwa sababu wamempokea vizuri. Because they received him well. Na intercession ya Ibrahim. And because of the intercession of Ibrahim. They had to break the secret. Sasa and wewe, they said, now you, ita watoto wako, call your children, ita wako, call all your in-laws, call your wife, waende, that they may get out of here. Mtu umu, or, less, or else everybody is going to be destroyed. <laughs> I was reading here and I started to laugh. Eti, wakwezake, the Bible said that his in-laws when he went to share with the husbands of the daughters an angel gave him a secret report, and he also went and reported to the family and he brought the in-laws and he told guys do you know this city is going to be destroyed this city is going to be burned God has come to burn this city because of the iniquities and because these people were the natives of that place the Bible said ah they laughed to scorn him ah these are stories These are stories <laughs> of our father-in-law. <laughs> you know, for in-laws to be able to grasp the secret <laughs> of the family <laughs> by are ah, dreaming. These are just father-in-law's <laughs> stories. And that's why when Lot was taking his children, <laughs> his wife, <laughs> these guys refused. They say we are not leaving. May God help us. Were they destroyed or not? Definitely they were destroyed. Are we together? Malaika. An angel. They will visit you. Because of your kindness. Even if there are no angels. Unavopokea mwenye haki as you receive a righteous person Biblia inasema kwamba malaika wanazungukia mwenye haki usiku na mchana mwenye haki unaweza ukamwona yuko mwenyewe lakini haiko mwenyewe you can see that person is alone but he is not alone as you accept or receive na malaika wanaomoescort you also receive the angels that are escorting him na siri nakupa tu that is a mystery i unfold to you if you have a way to understand it unapokea mtumishi wa as you receive the servant of God Wakweli, a true servant of God who has favor before the eyes of Haingi the Lord kwa the person doesn't come to you alone Haiwezekan. no it is impossible Maana, because he usually has or she has angels walking with him Nao, or her wa Mungu and when the angels of God enters Mate, in definitely the demons will run away that's what it means Don't continue to lock your house against uh, 
visitors you will receive angels unknowingly receive the elect of God their presence will break the powers of darkness and all the things that are in your house applause the Lord applause Jesus let's go to the book of Genesis Genesis 32 33 we'll see another example of angels that came down are you being blessed you want angels I can give you testimonies of these things. I explain them because they are in the Bible. But I believe them because they frequently happen to me. I've been, ever been visited by angels with wings. They have long wings like uh, of birds. Upon a bird, ndege kama kama aeroplane, like an aeroplane, like an aeroplane. Ulisha ingia kwenye ndege. Have you ever boarded an aeroplane? Ndogo wa makubwa. A small one or a big one? Both. Both. Zot. Zile ndege ndogo zina mabawa kiasi gani? The small ones, uh, what is the length of their wings? Mabawa yake. Yeah, depend on the size. Maybe one can be from here to where, so you need seated. On how the plane is big, and exactly their wings will be so long. When you enter into a KLM, for instance, the curtains, yeah, the wings could spread as far as to that curtain and to the other curtain. I've ever been visited by an angel or such an angel. It's dangerous. It is dangerous. You find yourself like a small child. And the body is so huge. And on how the aeroplane flies high. And that's how such an angel will take you high. Can take you to the holies of holies. But many times I've been visited by angels like human beings. They don't have wings. Many times. 